Okay, now we're going to talk about when you're going to be going to lunch and at the end of the day. You're going to use the peroxide nebulization or the ozonine. You're going to remove your face shield and your head covering. You're going to take your gloves off because they've now been contaminated because you've touched something that has already been covered with aerosol. You're going to take your container, take the one strap, wrap it around the container, then you're going to take the other strap and wrap it around the container. This way you're not touching the mask and is now easy to remove. You leave that on the counter. You're now going to take your nebulizing mask. It's all one piece. As you can see, it is a non-rebreather with an adapter for nebulization. You take peroxide. She's put peroxide into the container. She's going to reattach it to the nebulizing unit. You have placed the tubing onto the nebulizer. Let me just show you right here. Okay, now you're going to take the other end and attach it to the compressor. And at this point, she's going to turn the compressor on. And then the peroxide is now going to start nebulizing. She places the mask on. And then for 10 minutes, you're going to breathe normally and naturally, and you're going to be able to get the benefits of the peroxide, which will has been shown to uh, reduce the viral load. What you do at the end of the day, you have now sterilized your room, removed your mask, as shown before. Before you leave, before you go upstairs to change into your street clothes, you're going to use the ozone unit to get an ozonide treatment. This is not mandatory. This is something that we highly suggest to help keep you healthy and safe, which will help your coworkers and your family. If you are not aware of how to use the ozone unit to get an ozonide treatment, you ask somebody who is learned in that to do it for you, and then they will walk you through it to the point where after several visits, you'll be able to do it yourself. You do is place your cannula on as you would for a patient, and then as far as the settings, the person that normally gives ozonide treatments will do it for you, or at some point, you will be trained how to do it for yourself. Do this for 10 minutes, and then you're ready to stop. Take your nasal cannula, dispose of it, and you're gonna go upstairs and put on your street clothes.